The guided parachute system from AVSS is a revolutionary development in critical resupply technology. This allows the deployment of a desired payload to accurately land at the choice of the operator. With extreme precision, life-saving medical supplies can be delivered to a stranded individual safely and efficiently. This technology has been tested for years and is ready to be demonstrated in the harsh conditions of Newfoundland and Labrador. Labrador City is a small town that's nestled just along the border of Quebec. In western Newfoundland, Labrador, it's home to just under 8,000 people who primarily work for the local mining company. Being located so far north means that this area has mild summers, but the winter presents a massive challenge with plenty of snowfall and very cold temperatures averaging near negative 21 degrees Celsius in January. The residents adapt to this weather by utilizing snowmobiles to get around town and other surrounding areas. Plenty of snow, groomed trails, and frozen lakes and rivers make this the preferred method of transportation by locals. This community is reliant on these vehicles to traverse the land and they even have some fun on the weekends racing their sleds on Tanya Lake that sits just west of Labrador City. A more organized snowmobile event that was started back in 2006 called Kane's Quest is an endurance style race that tests the skill and determination of racers. It's evolved over over the years into one of the most challenging and exciting endurance races in the world, covering a grueling 3,500 kilometer route that crisscrosses all of Labrador. During this race, participants must whip through rugged frozen tundra, sea ice, they must battle whiteouts, dangerously low temperatures, and threatening terrain. Whether you're a resident of Labrador City or one of the brave racers that has chosen to take on the test of Kane's Quest, one thing remains true. Being in a remote area like this can pose many life-threatening challenges, but AVSS plans to help these people with search and rescue technology that is enabled by drones that can provide aid to those who are unlucky enough to get stuck far away from civilization. The AVSS guided parachute system is capable of precisely delivering payloads from a drone that can hold life-saving equipment to help in any situation. This fully autonomous system is able to react quickly and effortlessly, providing a stranded individual the supplies that they would need to stay safe until help arrives. This is a system that has been years in the making and what better way to prove its capabilities than here in Labrador City where some of the harshest conditions are faced daily. Back in Ottawa at AVSS's engineering office, their team is hard at work making final preparations for their demonstrations in remote Labrador City. All hands are on deck as final checks are made, parachutes are packed, and final deployments are tested. No matter the conditions or situation, the guided parachute system is easily deployable by a one-person team and has a flexible payload compartment that allows for the delivery of various types of supplies and equipment. It provides immediate response to any situation, reliably delivering its payload with extreme precision. In even the most remote areas, a drone is able to be rapidly deployed and head directly towards the situation. During this extreme testing in Labrador City, the guided parachute system proved to be reliable in execution and delivery, providing first responders a glimpse at what the future will look like. Using drones to respond to distress calls of any kind provides those involved with greater peace of mind and a more efficient response time. 